Where's the speaker at? Right there. Okay. Let's put it uh, yeah, by everyone. Yeah, so they can hear it. Like right there is perfect. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the show is about to begin. Please secure your bicycle, remove all valuables, lock it, and head to your seats. Not yet. Don't worry, DJ Dad. I will be in touch with you throughout the show. I know you missed rehearsal, but we'll make this amazing. All right, people walking by. Hello, citizen. I'm saving a party. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, oh, here comes another person. Hurry, grandfather, come see the show. <laughs> All right. That's the Jimmy John's driver. I recognize him. Oh, showing off with the one armed chairlift, eh, sir? Wow. Look at this, ladies. <clears throat> DJ DAD, track number one. Hit it! Crank it. Is that it? For your own safety. Yeah, but let's hit it one more time. Uh oh. Is this an ad? Wait, my show is sponsored. In a moment, we will be able to skip this ad with my magical powers. Five, four, three, two, one, skip it and play the song again. This one? The other one. Because everybody's got to hear. DJ MOM in the house, training DJ DAD. Step for your own safety. Next song. Ladies and gentlemen, residents of Grand Falls. What's your number? Oh, 111th Street. I'm trying to find your house number. <laughs> oh, really? Did, you save, did you save money by not having that put on you? <laughs> residents of 10552 South 111th Street, as well as, I'm assuming 10550 111th Street. It's, am I close? Is that what five, you want? Five, six. Represent. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Please put your hands together. He's here all the way from east of 72nd and Cornhusker. It's the doorstep magician. Clap it up, Pete. Yeah. 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 Amazon guy. Yeah. Amazon guy. Yeah. Amazon. yeah, be nice to the Amazon guy. We love you. Huh. I don't need your sympathy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today's performance will include an amazing balloon. Hello. Oh, oh now she waves. Earlier, she's quite black. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today's performance, a balloon creation, a magic trick, and a bunch of kids saying, wow. We'll say wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't know it was a non-English speaking audience. <laughs> DJ DA Dad and DJ MLM, thank you very much for playing the music. I'd like to hand out my card in a most memorable way. Ella, you were right! What do you guys think? Is that lit? Yeah. Heads up, Gramps! I also do lawn cutting with cards. It was amazing. <laughs> Friends, today's performance. Incredible mind writing. You can kill the music. That's right, people. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> Based on the reaction, I think I'll show you something else. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One of those numbers is in your mind. The lady falling asleep right here in the blue. Ma'am, please wake up. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. What number are you thinking? Four in the sack is my prediction of what she'd say. <laughs> With great power comes average entertainment. 
With a small budget for birthday party comes this performance. That's what it should be saying. Okay, uh, ma'am, were you impressed with that? You weren't, she wasn't impressed. We were this, impressed. This will impress her. We're all laughing. Ma'am, there's a word on the back of the sack. I wrote it with a Sharpie. Do you have any idea what the word is? Yes or no? Yeah. And you have to be honest, yes or no? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I have an idea. No, do you, but just tell the truth. Do you know for sure, yes or no? No. No? <laughs> No? <laughs> Don't worry, the stuff for your age group is coming up, okay? First, you have to get the adults to like the performance because I do this Amway presentation and I want them to all sign up. It's a long story. Ma'am, if you didn't say no, you could have even said oh. on. <laughs> and kids, this is where I stop and get a drink. I get so thirsty on stage here talking. Oh, sweet. It's not oh, this is for you too, Frank. Oh, is this for you? Wait, you guys can afford this? That's a superhero car. The third is a superhero outlet. It's 180,000 miles. Hey! You got the chameleon makeup. Look at this, kids. This is follow your bliss. This is get a business degree. <laughs> Take your choice. Oh, you just decided to just park here and go for a walk? Or, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, just park here or whatever. It's fine. You gotta make an entrance, right? Hey, uh, thanks for upstaging the magic show. <laughs> hey, look, everybody, there's a car that goes 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Or we can watch the guy do magic tricks. <laughs> Sir, where are you from? The next neighborhood over. The next, I drove out here, I had a performance at 180th and Pacific Street. Oh. And you're from just down here? Yeah. Wow. I'm late. I was on time. <laughs> when you have a car like this, you cannot be late to anything. It's no, no excuse. All right. Hey, I'm going to ask you to leave. Thank you. <laughs> well, you he shows up and you leave, but, well, I can't hang out with him. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go back to Dollar Tree. I've got a bunch of these on layaway there. <laughs> Sir, I've never met you. You've never met me. I want you to pretend that I write down a word. This could be any word in the world. Blah, 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 blah. I write it down, I rip it off, and I hand it to one of these students. Oh, hold on. Psychic powers coming into play. Brecken, what is your name? That's right! Brecken, I folded up a piece of paper. Pretend. Pretend to catch it. Sir? That piece of paper could have any word in the world written on it, sir. Could you shout to the audience, what word would it be? TTR. G okay, that's technically three letters, but <laughs> we'll go with it, GTR. Sir, if we open that piece of paper and it said GTR, would you be impressed? Absolutely. That's for after show. <laughs> Okay. You'd be impressed. Well, that's exactly what I do, but I do it with a deck of cards. You see, kids, one card is uniquely this gentleman. And through a series of short questions, I'm going to find out what that card is. Question number one, sir, are you married or are you happy? Uh, happy. <laughs> Question number two, how old? Well, that's rude. Never ask people their age. We'll skip that. Instead, how much do you weigh? 250. Okay, usually people don't answer that, but okay. <laughs> the next question, how many kids do you, oh, oh, is this your kid right here? Yep. One of your kiddos? How many kids do you have? Three. Three, okay, great. I've got three beautiful kids of my own. Four, total. <laughs> Audience, <laughs> notice you didn't offer anyone else a drink. Uh, you didn't Sir, you missed something. This gentleman here could have said anything in the world. You said what, sir? GTR. GTR. I said, wouldn't it be amazing if I would have known that? And then I said, I do know something. I know a card that is uniquely you. The card... The prediction of the card is written down right here. The magic 
case from the mystical land of St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. Ooh. I have the shopping to do. Every Sunday I've got my shopping list. I go to Hobby Lobby, Fairway, Chick-fil-A. I go to church first. I don't know about you kids, but my favorite part of church is when they pass around that basket of free money. <laughs> That's funny, huh? Hey kids, on your way out, be sure to pick up the jokes you missed. They're stacking up behind you. <laughs> the clip. Nothing awkward going on here at all? Nothing, nothing. Could you grab this for me, sweetheart? I was talking to your father. <laughs> <laughs> Don't open it yet, sir. Just unclip it. Your name in the green shirt. What is your name? Riley. Riley, it's nice to meet you. Have we ever met before? I'm going to ask you to please stand to my left while DJ Dad hits the next track. Could you please stand over here? Not too close, though. I'm allergic to children. The next track? Yeah. You might actually have to skip one or two. We're changing things up a little. Okay. Ready? Just like rehearsal. Big smile. Actually, skip that one. We're going to go to the next one. Friends, the days of pick a card are over. Instead... I will use skip it when you can. It's the one that says, I want to know what you're thinking. That's the one we're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, a magic illusion that I saw a guy perform on the radio. Let's get one more. Although that's a good one. One more. <laughs> Riley, ladies and gentlemen, some applause for Riley. Yay! Prepare to be hypnotized, Riley. Stare at these cards. One of these cards is uniquely dad. All the cards are different, but you're going to shout one card. Don't worry. This is where things pick up. <laughs> Super loud. Any card you're looking at. Obviously not jokers. We don't even need the joker. I'm already here. <laughs> and not the ace of spades. Far too common. Super loud. What card are you looking at? Shout it, Riley! Two of hearts! Let's give her some applause. She goes back to her seat. And for helping out. Your very own balloon creation that you'll have to make yourself. There you go. <laughs> Dad, you're holding the piece of paper. Please stand up. Unlock it. Face the crowd. Always face the crowd, Dad. Sometimes they throw stuff. <laughs> Open it up. <laughs> Take out what you find inside. Unfold it. <laughs> Audience, set your faces to stunned. What does it say? Read it. Can you Two read hearts. it, sir? Two of hearts. Show everybody. These people are far-sighted. Walk it closer. I trust him. It's all good. Don't trust trust him. Him. Yeah. Now, Dad, as impressive as that is, there's more. I want to point out, this is going to be sealed and in your possession. Now, the way I've got this locked in here is a little tricky, so I'm just going to hand it to you. Do not open it, Dad. Dude, I recognize you now that you're up close. You don't remember me, do you? Um, no, we went to different high schools together. <laughs> Hang on to that. Don't open it. 
because friends, it's time for the fine art of three ball juggling. Whoa. Back me up three tracks, mom. You can grab a seat for a little while. Okay. It's not gonna be for about two or three hours till we get to that. There you go, turn it up. Woo! Juggling time! Or as I call it, four years of college! <laughs> Yay! You kids ever hear a University of Phoenix online? <laughs> I used to play basketball for them. <laughs> Woo! Behind the back juggling! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Prepare yourselves to see what two months without visiting cost cutters looks like. Yo! <laughs> crowd favorite. Apparently not this crowd's favorite. When I was little, my mother said she knew what I'd be when I graduated high school. 30. You can't tell by the applause, but this is very good. These kids are not trained in here. They're supposed to clap, kids. And we'll edit that uh, drop out of the video. And the big finish with the cape. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Don't miss now. It's a little tricky. By the way, if you kids are interested, there's doorstep magician franchises available in Carter Lake and Council Bluffs. <laughs> See me after the show for details. Big finish, take three. Huh. Yeah! You might as well clap, kids. It's too late for your parents to find someone else. <laughs> Woo. Oh, you can kill the music. I got to get my diet, Dr. Thunder. You know your career's going well when your fridge is filled with this. I don't know what part of town we're in. Is this a rough neighborhood? Because apparently somebody stole my Diet Dr. Thunder. They cracked it open, chugged it, and crushed it. I'm not going to get angry. I'm going to get amazing. Back in time before it was crushed. Back in time before it was opened. Listen. Back when it was filled to the top with the single cheapest drink I could find. Yeah. There's two ways of doing this. One way is with the kids clapping. Yay! <laughs> clap, yo. That's for Harry Houdini. Peace, bro. All right, well, apparently the kids are a little more intellectual, so let's take the show up a notch. Friends, this is the Rubik's Cube. 45 years ago, this June, this was invented. Dr. Rubik took over two months to solve his own creation. The idea is to get each side to be a solid color. Now, how many of you kids have ever tried to do it? Adults, how many of you have tried to do it? How many of you succeeded? How many of you just lied about succeeding? <laughs> Love the day. <laughs> well, the idea here is you mix it up and try to solve it as fast as possible. Now, I'm going to show you. Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to be mixed up. But I'm going to solve it in world record time. With one hand. Without looking. <laughs> while using this totally empty paper sack. Now, now looking around at some of the dads, I can see we've got some septics, in, excuse me, skeptics in the crowd. People think there might be something in the sack. Well, if that was true, would I let you examine it? Close enough, kid. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm talking to you, audience. Are you ready? Yes. Are you set? Yeah. Let's go! I've got a Golden Girls DVD to finish watching. I'm going through a lot of my old stuff. I've got like a whole collection of stuff. I've got VHS of Who's the Boss I'm trying to finish. 
Okay, here goes. Solve it. Ta-da! Who said to Dom? Who said that? Amazing. You guys know how I did that, right, kids? How do you kids think I did that? Kaylee, tell them. Tell them. There's another one in here. Wait, you think there's another one in here? How many of you think there's another one in here? Oh, smart kids. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. There is another one in here. Oh, uh, it's both fixed, Kinley. Yeah, here's you kids after the show. <laughs> okay, Google, how do you do that Rubik's Cube thing? <laughs> Google don't know, ask Siri. You do. <laughs> ask Siri. <laughs> Friends? Now what do you think he did? Now we don't know. Friends? It's time to demonstrate my powers of telekinesis, the ability to move objects with my mind. I will make this vehicle drive faster. Look, she's speeding up as I wave. <laughs> okay, here goes for real. Uh, we'll use something. There's no way I can. Could I ask you two to slide this way a little bit to your right? Friends, the power of the mind. We'll put it there. If you don't mind. What did the magician do at your party? <laughs> he made us stare at a sharpie for five minutes. <laughs> What's more amazing? We all watch! <laughs> I was at the Wyoming State Fair, and my opening act was this Native American dance tribe. My show was rained out. stare at the sharpie with me please <laughs> but what are kids most scared of ladies and gentlemen being a superhero comes with great responsibility like Learning how to defend yourself from zombie balloons! That's right, kids. I've done my research, and I have children of my own. And they say the thing they fear the most... Zombie balloons! Get your phones out, audience. Turn your cameras on. Because it's the doorstep magician versus... Zombie balloon! All right, track. It should be obvious which one this is. Okay, it's, it's Mortal Kombat. Friends, witness the flying guillotine of danger. Are you guys filming? This would be great on Instachat or Snapchat. Snapchat? I also do farmers only. They tag me. I only need like start, stop, and then restart, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
So stop. Tell me, are you all restarted? I only need one card to defeat the zombie balloon. Cool. Okay, stop. stop. Delete that one. Delete it. Restart. <laughs> Restart. I'll I only it. need one card to defeat the zombie balloon. Okay, stop. <laughs> Delete that. Restart. I only need one card to defeat the zombie balloon. Oh, jeez, sorry, kids. <laughs> Oh, gee, sorry, Dad. <laughs> Dad, if, you, uh, if you're injured, you can get a hold of a lawyer and sue me for everything I own. <laughs> I've got, like, zombie balloons left over from Halloween. Yay! Okay. We must sharpen a card. How do you beat paper? With scissors. How do you defeat a zombie balloon? With sharp cards. Who's laughing at me? Real funny kid. When you're older and you get a job, I'm gonna pull through the drive-thru and laugh at you. to take it to the next level. That's right, it's defense with the yo-yo. I know you kids aren't into yo-yos, you'd rather play video games like X stations and play boxes. And game circles and the Wii and the Stitch. I didn't grow up with any of those games. I had a game called Operation. We could never afford batteries. I had to play Autopsy. <laughs> Why the red yo-yo string? Well, it was white until I washed it with my cape. <laughs> you may show your appreciation now. <laughs> Look at you, Dad, wish you would have made a different decision when it comes to your career. <laughs> this is called the trampoline. Tight. The kids always say it's tight. And then I have to explain to them that if it's ever tight, you can loosen it. <laughs> Classic tricks. Rocking the baby. Making the baby dizzy. Around the world. The world's round, so it goes in a circle. And if you don't believe in science, here's around the world for you. <laughs> Save so you all a trip to Paris, France. I learned that out of a yo-yo book. The book said, turn it upside down, looks like a letter Y, yo-yo's an O, what do you spell? Yo! Yo! Then the book said, teach it to a friend. Yo! Yo! But let's face it, you're buying books about yo-yos, probably don't have any friends. <laughs> Walk in the dog! Or if you grew up in the 80s, you'll all enjoy this presentation of a dad bodied asthmatic director doing his Michael Jackson <laughs> And neighbors, if you don't like those moves, beat it. <laughs> I know I'm bad. See if you kids recognize this 80s video game superstar. Normally, he's yellow. Who said Pac Man? Was that mom? 10 points for Gryffindor. Now combining Rock the Baby with the Eiffel Tower. Rock the Baby in the Eiffel Tower. Please clap, that's hard. <laughs> yes, thank you! Thank you both! It's time for my most requested yo-yo trick. The last one. Yay! Combining martial arts with yo-yos, I present to you, Taekwon! 
friends. As amazing as this has been, it's time to impress the kids. Ah, oh, what they really want to see. You can kill the music. Actually, go to the second to last track, if you would. Second, uh, one more before that, if you would. Children, because your parents sprung for the bronze package, <laughs> the doorstep magician, Sarpy County's most famous comedy superhero magician, will perform for you. Oh, I don't think this works. Can one of you kids lend me a lighter? You got a lighter on you, kid? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I got it to work. We're good. <laughs> This is super dangerous. <laughs> Based on the expressions, you all failed to appreciate what I just did. I like it. <laughs> no fire! Fuel, I just want to make sure they understand how to end this properly. <laughs> yeah. Fuel, no knuckle hair. <laughs> By the way, that balloon zombie thing was pretty cool, huh? I used to do that. Now I have to blow up all the balloons with my hand pump. But back in the day, when I popped those, man, it would smell like spicy chicken sandwich from Popeye's. People would be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fire. Woo! These are new torches. I just got these a couple months ago. I lost, I had another set, but I lost them in a fire. <laughs> 